St. Vincent has just dropped a brand new music video for the single Flea that came out like four days ago, something like that. Uh, and I will be honest, prior to this morning, I had never listened to St. Vincent before. The name, definitely familiar. That's why it caught my eye. But I was just having a little scroll through YouTube, trying to find some new releases, something interesting to catch my eye. Because um, honestly, weirdly enough, at least on my Spotify um, release radar this week, Slim Pickens, not loads of stuff. So, um, yeah, I was having a little look around and I saw some Vincent. Uh, and I thought, that name, I feel like I associate with cool people and stuff. So I had a bit of a Google and I think I might end up being a bit of a fan. Um, she does, like, really, really interesting music. I've listened to a couple of her bigger songs now just to sort of prepare a little bit so I have something as a basic comparison. Uh, and they're really interesting. They're clever. She seems like a really good guitarist. She's worked with a bunch of cool people like David Byrne. She co-wrote an album with, which is awesome. So I thought, why not? Let's have a look and see what St. Vincent's like. So without any further ado, let's jump into Flea. Uh, also, I've seen some of her I'm other music like videos and they're super interesting, like visually. So I've got uh, high expectations. Jumping on somebody's one body. Immediately that bass line is you can't help it. It's, it's addictive. When you start to itch and scratch and scream. Oh, the little drum roll as well, it's so clever. Once I'm in, you can't get rid of me. I'm already getting oh, mostly interested in vocal delivery, and I guess maybe in the minimal opening. I'm getting kind of kills vibes. She kind of reminds me a little bit of um Alison Mossart. I think it's the breathy thing as well, because she often sings like down there, like it's almost her last breath. <laughs> Once I'm in, you can't get rid of me. It's a really interesting shot as well. Oh, hello. Sick, I was not expecting that to be the way it was. I really like the tone of the bass. I think this all just exploded out. Like the uh, the guitar, they she's filled that um like entire soundscape up very very quickly. It was so clever. Yeah, and I like how the drums get faster. They 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 double time when it's slower. That's really clever as well. Or the color response the vocals. Oh, they were like in the peripherals, it's super weird. I wonder if this whole music video is just gonna be this. I'd be fine with that. Though. Oh, that neat guitar line is really nice as well. It's kind of hidden in the minutia, but. So fucking dumb. <laughs> the Beagle. Well, I, can, I swear that the guitar line was nothing like as prominent in the previous chorus. I don't know whether it was not there and now it is, and they're just, or she's just like, you know, brought it up in the mix, or whether or not that's a new lead guitar line. But either way, I like the way that it evolves like that. Ooh. Expecting that to have a shift as well. God damn, this is really like interesting music. It's not like anything I've heard. Okay. Is that a synth line I can hear? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Nice, okay. Ah, oh, it's gonna get all fucking like frog on me now. Just the rhythmic tongue and beats are so like different every time. And that little synth, it's just a set of sounds like that. It's, it's kind of got like blues undertones as well. I wonder if she writes the drum lines. Because she doesn't write the drum lines. Whoever does write those drum lines deserves a medal because it's really interesting, clever. It's carrying the whole thing forward, actually. It's really deciding the energy of each bit. 
And you know what? Kind of fair play to her for just sitting there deck of, with a deck of cards in her hand for like three and a half minutes, and that's the video. Okay. It's like very, very up and down with all the main So chaotic. Of course, how the fuck did she manage to keep that like perfectly beautiful facial expression without laughing for how long this is? Man, I did not know what to expect, but I really, really enjoyed that. <laughs> like, I'm a little bit speechless. It was so like. I don't know. Part of it is the way the way that the um, the drums and the rhythms really like decided the energy of the section. Almost made me think of Tom Waits, um, and then it felt like there were some elements of like Beck in there with the sort of interesting instrumentation and the way that the the sections kind of went up and down. Then I definitely felt some Kills vibe there, probably more from the vocals than anything else. The just the tone on the bass was really really awesome. Um, I would love to know just how much of that is like her directly writing. Um, on the Spotify, on the Spotify credits, it just says performed by St. Vincent, which is just her, right? So I guess maybe she's the multi-instrumentalist that does anything or does everything. Um, well, I guess St. Vincent fans in the comments, if you want to let me know how she achieves that, does she write like every single part herself or does she kind of get other musicians to fill those parts in? Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just really excited. I'm like hyped up by that as, um super interesting and for, i will admit the music video was definitely like a statement but i have seen a couple of other ones in the run-up to this it was one of the less interesting ones i will admit uh even the other single the uh, the broken man one she's like staggering around on fire while she's performing which is also like a really interesting visual that's an interesting visual um she, it just nothing else happened um which is bold to be fair i actually oh no okay i fuck it. i respect the creative choice um but you know i i liked the sort of like weird imagery going on in some of the other ones i saw but hey that's a very minor gripe um just everything about that was like yeah not quite unique you uh, but you know what i mean like i've not heard a song that sounds like that for a long ass time uh, it, it really reminds me of early kills and i've made that comparison a few times maybe i just don't have a particularly eclectic set of uh female rockers in my arsenal to compare it to but i really oh, oh that was the other one i was going to compare it to which is a deep cut that not many of you will get but i swear to god look up maloko kind of reminded me of maloko a little bit um maybe just in the way that the synths were kind of in there and the sort of slightly strange rhythms and the, the sort of soundscape nature of the background of it actually and having said that that makes me feel like the david burden <clears throat> bloody hell try again the David Byrne influence is, like, more apparent thinking about it. Man, okay, well, I think I'm going to have to put that on the um, on the old playlist and then continue to look into some other uh, St. Vincent stuff because that was absolutely badass. Um, great, well, I think that's probably all I've got to say on that one. So thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Like, share, subscribe. It's really picking up momentum. YouTube algorithm hates me slightly less than it used to, so that's really cathartic you know it's feeling like a viable option so thank you for everyone who's watching and uh, we'll watch in the future i guess anyway have a wonderful day and i'll catch you in the next one peace